There's absolutely nothing in the mainstream media about uh, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. For the media, the, this topic has almost become like off limits. Initially, the approach uh, was let's uh, deny the authenticity of Hunter Biden's laptop. When that became impossible, let's uh, let's censor the discussion of the laptop. Digital media, of course, was active in doing that. And um, now that it's obvious that the laptop is real, more and more stuff is coming out from the laptop. The latest revelation, very interesting, and to me, no surprise, uh, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden shared bank accounts. Of course they did. Why? Because this is when this is because when Hunter collects money, remember, he's the bag man, collects money from the Ukraine, collects money from China. Remember, the big guy's got to get his cut. And what easier way for the big guy to get his cut than to pay the bills out of a shared bank account? That way, the money flows naturally from Hunter to Joe Biden. So all Joe Biden's denials, I knew nothing about my son's business affairs. He did nothing wrong. I mean, all of this is just patent lies, manifest absurdities. And yet, you'd never know it. Why? Not because the media is hotly denying it. They're just not covering it. They're just not covering it because to them, it's a non-story. Yes, Joe Biden may be a criminal, but he's our criminal. So we're going to let him basically get away with whatever he did before is something that we're that's just a price that we have to pay not to have Trump in the White House. I think this is, in fact, the shocking but sort of ruthless way in which um, figures at the New York Times, Washington Post, and so on are looking at this matter. Now, in the latest revelation, it's very clear that um, that these funds, there's a lawyer, a guy named uh, Eric Schwerin, who is um, uh, sent a bunch of emails and he, it shows very clearly that he is the connection between Joe and Hunter Biden. He knows that their finances are commingled and he's working on Joe Biden's taxes. He's discussing the father and son paying each other's bills. He's also fielding requests for a book deal. So even though Joe Biden is vice president, this is not going through the official um, White House or the, or the vice president's office where presumably there would be some people looking over it. Is this appropriate? Is this ethical? No, all of this, this is being handled handled outside of that. Um, and, uh, and the emails are really telling. I mean, let's remember, by the way of background, that Hunter Biden has already said that how he complained that half of his salary is going to pay his father's bills. This is what he said in a 2019 text to his daughter, Naomi. Uh, he goes, I hope you can all do what I did and pay for everything for this entire family for 30 years. Well, of course, you're paying the bills. You're the bag man. You're the, you're the entry point for all this corrupt money. So naturally, they all bill it to you. And, um, and then uh, separately here, here is Hunter Biden saying, quote, my dad has been using most of the lines on this account. And what he means is that most of the charges appearing on this particular bank account are not his, Hunter Biden's, but his dad's. Now, um, Jonathan Turley has a kind of amusing analogy. He basically says he has an article called Joe Biden and the Disappearing Elephant. Uh, he pointed out that Houdini, in one of his great um, uh, kind of successful stunts, was able to make an elephant disappear. But Joe Biden here has been able to make the whole circus disappear. He's done it how? Basically because he's got uh, a colluding media, a media that pretends that there is really no circus. Oh, I don't see a circus. Yeah, the circus is still going on. But you pretend that you don't see what you what you do see. And Turley, I think rightly, is calling now for a, a special counsel. Um, because there is no way that this corruption is going to be either exposed by the media or acknowledged by the Biden administration. Therefore, the only way, the only way, and I, I grant it's unlikely because these, why would these people want to appoint a special counsel to look into their own corrupt dealings when they know there's all kinds of corruption there? Um, let's remember, we're, by the way, not just going off of Hunter Biden's laptop, although that's a pretty good source, but also the testimony of Tony Bobulinski, a business partner of both Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, present at meetings with Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. So direct evidence here of corruption. There's someone in one of these articles who basically makes the point. He goes, listen, if this guy was not the president, there is no way that prosecutors would not be not only just looking at him, but implicating him. So what we have here is money laundering. We have corruption. We have influence peddling. We obviously have the appearance of corruption. 
And all of this, I think, is a defining feature of Joe Biden's career. This is how Joe Biden has the enormous wealth that he's piled up. He certainly hasn't done it uh, through government office. He's done it really by selling off uh, American foreign policy, American domestic policy. Essentially, he's been following the Clinton model. The Clinton started it, uh, renting out policy for, for donations to the Clinton Foundation, for Biden, it's a little different. You don't pay the foundation. You basically pay Hunter. Hunter is kind of the, uh, but not just Hunter, obviously, James Biden, Frank Biden, the whole Biden family. There's a son-in-law involved. All these guys are filling their wallets with foreign cash, bringing it home, and apparently paying off the big guy.